Ah, uh, just look at these shapes. What a beautiful day for a nice walk. Ah, uh, the sun is out, the air is dry, and it's going to be beautiful all weekend long. Yeah. Look at that, huh? Yeah, look at our forecast. It's going to be beautiful all weekend long. Oh, that's right. <sighs> I'm not in Flagstaff. I just drifted off for a minute. <laughs> anyway, uh, welcome to this weather update. Uh, another going to do another weather update because instead, instead we've got fog, 58 degrees, dew point 55, and the weather's going to suck all weekend. So let's talk about the humidity. Let's talk about the warmth that we're dealing with again this evening and the threat for severe weather. And that's that's going to be a threat that uh, some of my viewers brought up. And, so I'm going to have to do another weather update because we're already seeing some severe weather that we have to talk about. So first, let's get to the temperatures. And, you know, at least we're on Long Island where we're getting some moderation from the sea breeze. But the sea breeze can only cool this air down so much because this is really humid air. So you can't really bring, when the dew points are in the mid-50s, you really can't get the, the air temperature below the dew point. So uh, that's uh, the south shore looks like it's in the mid-50s, but a little further inland it's in the upper 50s. But, of course, it could be worse. We could be sweating it out in New Jersey where it's still, even at this hour, it's almost 8 o'clock, 70 degrees. We still have 70 degree readings, and here are the showers. Uh, and um, there's some severe weather, too, uh, that is over Pennsylvania, it looks like, or right here. And you can see here, uh, look at this uh, line of uh, thunderstorms. This is all heading off to the east. We're going to actually play this radar, and you'll be able to see here uh, the... Uh, the uh, thunderstorms here that are uh, these are really torrential soaking thunderstorms but they could they're also training so the areas that are getting hit are getting hit over and over again so there's also flooding as a flooding threat from this as well as we deal with all this tropical moisture coming up the east coast and I explained to you why this is happening um, if we go and we look at the Ventu sky you will see uh, that uh, we have all this tropical air that is coming up the east coast you can see it clearly as we pull on out you can see uh, literally this just tropical flow that's literally coming. You see this big, huge Atlantic ridge and this tropical flow that's literally coming right up the entire eastern seaboard uh, all the way up to Maine, which is crazy. So it's the same air mass all the way from Florida to, to Maine. Uh, and uh, when we look at these dew points, you'll see that we have very high dew points as well. Uh, look at all these high dew points. These are dew points. Some dew points are already approaching 70 in certain areas, so we may even see some 70 degree dew points in part of the area. Uh, th this is crazy, absolutely crazy. Um, this is not normal at all whatsoever uh, for our area, and this is all, again, due to the jet stream, due to climate change. Uh, when we take a look at the uh, jet stream, again, you have this uh, really crazy pattern here uh, that has... Uh, uh, we're going to go here, wind speed to the jet stream level, and you'll see what the problem is once again, is we have this huge trough here in the middle of the country, and the jet stream is literally uh, all kinked up here, uh, drive diving all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico in the tropics, and then all that air is coming right up the eastern seaboard into Canada. Uh, this, is, this is not a normal, this is a very disturbing pattern uh, that we're in, and I'm very disturbed about it because... Um, when you have this type of pattern set up uh, because the uh, Atlantic is so warm and warmer than it's supposed to be uh, we, we are dealing with all this tropical air so uh, and we'll take a look at the ocean temperature anomalies and you will see here uh, that the water temperatures are well above normal in uh, off the east coast well above normal we have this really just broiling uh, water uh, that is offshore and the air is coming this air is coming right off that broiling water and to show you, even the, now the offshore waters are starting to warm up, too, because of the humidity. It's causing the latent heat of condensation. It's actually causing the ocean temperatures to rise. But just offshore, we have uh, a 7.4 degree Celsius anomaly, which is like a 15 degree Fahrenheit warmer than normal anomaly. Uh, and if we actually take a look at the actual sea surface temperature, that's going to amount to, let's see, uh, 24.1. So you have water temperatures that are approaching 80 degrees that aren't that far away so uh... that that's that's the disturbing thing if the for if there's any tropical storm activity or anything like that it, it's not going to be good because these hurricanes are going to blow up and then with this pattern they're going to hit slam us and except category five hitting long island if that ever happens i'm out of here i'm not sticking around i'll have to go somewhere else 
I'm not gonna I'm not gonna deal with that. The Pine Barrens will be destroyed too. Uh, that those kind of hurricanes destroy everything. There's nothing left. So um, you can see this pattern that we're in a very dangerous pattern. So uh, we're gonna focus on the uh, the uh, severe weather. So let's get back to the radar here uh, and uh, show you what's going on. And um, we have a severe weather. We have tornado watches in effect and severe thunderstorm watches in effect just to our west. It's possible we may be added into this. Um, all right. Uh, and we'll take a look at what it's like in New Jersey right now because it's much warmer there. 67. It looks like it is down to 67 because they have some light rain, but the dew point is way up to 64. So the very high dew points, very high humidity. And I tell you, I was out this afternoon, and it just made me feel sick. I was sweating, sweaty, sticky, disgusting. If it's going to be like this half the year, I don't know how I'm going to survive. I just don't know how I'm going to survive. Um, but we got to get through this uh, weather event. So let's take a look at the radar now. The uh, radar actually for this is down for Fort Dix. So uh, what a time for the radar to go down over there. We have to use the other radar. And you can see it looks like we have, and that's why i got to use the National Weather Service radar, because it looks like we have some tornado warnings that are actually uh, taking place. So, yep, we have a tornado warning that was issued somewhere in Pennsylvania. I'm not sure exactly where that is. I don't know these areas very well. And then in Virginia, too, we're seeing tornado warnings. It's very unusual to see tornado warnings and severe thunderstorm warnings, so many of them, in April. Uh, this is not normal at all whatsoever, and this is all, again, heading our way. Um, and if we go and we look at the lightning, let's go and look at the lightning. Um, we'll see here. Let's see how much lightning is going on here, because I'm feeling a lot of lightning is going on. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised it isn't more. I don't know, maybe this thing isn't working right. I'm surprised it isn't more lightning. I think there's something not working right with this thing. It's not picking it. There's got to be more lightning than that. Um, so, well, I'll keep my eye on this, obviously. Uh, we'll go back. We'll go back and focus in, in our area here at temperatures. Uh, and, uh,. We'll also look at the uh, high winds that are going on. Um, well, we'll look, I want to look at the thunderstorm uh, index here, the CAPE, which is uh, you're starting to see some CAPE, elevated CAPE. And when you see elevated CAPE uh, and, a good, and a high lifted index as well, uh, this is when, oh, yeah, this is a very high lifted index. So the potential for a lot of thunderstorms is very high in this area. Right now, it's off to our west. It's over Pennsylvania, New Jersey. But I think as the night goes on, this shifts further east and gets closer to us probably by tomorrow. So I'm going to actually move this over to Saturday around 5 a.m. And I think it's going to be closer to us. Um, no, it's still mainly over Pennsylvania. So we, we probably have the ocean that's helping to stabilize things a little bit. But uh, that's no guarantee. So I have to keep my eye on this. <clears throat> this is not a good situation at all. Yeah, you can see here it gets a little closer as we go later into the, they could actually, so we're going to have to keep my eye on this. Uh, this is uh, not a good situation, and tomorrow is going to be a very uncomfortable day uh, as well. Very warm and very humid. Not normal at all for um, April. This is not normal at all. This is just not normal at all. Um, um, so I'll keep my eye on it, but I figured I'd let you know about the severe weather threat. Um, and this is the precipitation accumulation chart. So actually, I can do a three-hour precipitation accumulation uh, chart also. And you can see here uh, that there's a potential for heavy rain uh, over the east end here. Uh, that's going to, uh, and let's shift it further. We're going back in time now. This is around 11 a.m. tomorrow. Heavy rain over Nassau uh, was shifted to 8 a.m. Um, see, it looks like it actually picks up strength again as it heads. Uh, this is according to the Ventu Sky model, which I think it's using the HRRR. So um, it could pick up strength again as it shifts further east. So we're going to have to keep our eye on it. I can look at the models again. Uh, well, let's do that. Uh, look at the models again and see uh, what's going to happen. So let me just move this in here. And we'll just keep an eye on the, uh, let's see, we get the latest NAM model and see how this, how this, uh, deals with it so um, this is the 18z no I didn't mean to hit that I did not mean to hit that alright so this is the 18z model 
move this over here uh, and uh, you can see here uh, the heavy look at that line there it's over Pennsylvania but then it kind of breaks up a little bit but then it reforms and the, the when it reforms sometime in the morning Saturday morning you could see these really purple almost purple which is extremely heavy just south of Long Island so if that's just a little further north that could wind up slamming us and again it's getting all this energy from remember that 80 degree water that's not that like in this area right here that's just gonna cause these thunderstorms to just explode uh, and uh, it could get quite ugly Saturday morning uh, so we're gonna have to keep our eye on that and then once that's gone we still have th still have the threat of rain really all weekend long because this front isn't going anywhere it's gonna be stalled out just to our east so we'll be playing with the stall front again uh, but uh, let's get through this weather event first uh, I'll just go over to the GFS just briefly and again and uh, we go back to the regions and we're just gonna look at the uh, Kona's view because uh, I want to just show you the temperature anomaly chart and uh, there was some hope in the future here with the temperature anomaly chart that once we're done with this system maybe uh, still warm throughout the week but maybe there'll be a cool down in the east maybe maybe there'll be a cool down toward May but that's like toward the end of the run so what can I tell you it's gonna be rough uh, uh, you know the climate is changing here. It's it's really changing and uh, uh, it's scary. You know. Uh, anyway, um, that's going to be it for this weather update. I'll try to have another one for you later, probably around midnight or sometime. Or uh, if not later tonight, tomorrow morning. But I will try to have another update before that s severe weather th threat gets here. Take care. Have a good night and happy Passover. Happy Good Friday to everybody out there watching. Take care.